Hey, beautiful love bugs. Welcome back. I'm divinely destined. Welcome back to another video. Happy Monday. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a good day. If you happen to be new here, I want to say thank you for stopping by. Please take a minute, like the video, share the video, leave me some comments in the comments section. Happy birthday, Leo, celebrating your birthdays today. Happy Leo season. I have a message, collective, take it how it resonates. Over our energies, we have the sun, the sun card, the king of cups. Yeah, our heavenly father knows that we've been betrayed, we've been hurt, and we've been through some things, okay? Mm -hmm. You may be a twin flame, or you may have a higher level, level connection you're meant to be a part of, okay? Yeah, I see the king and the queen of cups. So, yes, you may be someone that is meant to be in a certain type of connection. Right here in the world, okay? Yes, we got the Ace of Cups indicating that our Heavenly Father has certain people that we're meant to connect with on certain levels. Okay, it's just facts. Certain people that we're meant to celebrate with and be victorious with at certain points or certain times in our life. Yes, we got the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. It could be, there seems to be, this could also indicate like our Heavenly Father, you know, he may have us in certain positions in which people are admired, they admire us for what we do. They're grateful for us collective. Okay, that's here too. They show a lot of gratitude to our Heavenly Father for having us in certain positions or just being out doing whatever we do, okay? The tool, the Ace of Cups indicates that our Heavenly Father um, basically knows that people are grateful and they really care. There are some people that actually do care about us collective. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Star. I see a power couple. The Star card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Empress, the King of Cups, the Six of Wands. That indicates um, an influential connection that's very abundant. Or different connect, uh, different connections. Okay, you may have experienced a lot of abundant, a lot of abundant connections with different people throughout your lifetime. Okay, but I definitely see a significant connection here that's meant to be. Okay, or is destined to be abundant. You guys may be on television, social media, the radio. You may be out in the world doing things together. We got the Eight of Swords and the Two of Cups. You have people thinking about you long after you leave. Okay, you go, you go donate to the homeless or you, you, you feed the homeless. You have people thinking about you days later, hours later, week, weeks later. Okay, they don't forget the kindness that you have shown them. I know it may be difficult, collective, you may be going through a hard time where you may have experienced some rough days here, okay? You're not the only one. We got a champion on, collective. We got a champion on some kind of way. We got the King of Cups. I see the King of Cups already. Yeah, there's a, there's a special individual that you may end up marrying or being in a serious, solidified connection with. Archangel Michael shows up as the King of Swords. Real heavy here with the Strength card. Okay, Archangel Michael, he just has to come out because of the opposition. Yeah, somebody's holding on to some reckless. It's like somebody just wants to, to, to defeat and destroy, destroy the, collect, the collective. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers and the Five of Pentacles. You know, you hear readers talk about that couple that has been terrorizing the collective. They're coming out here as well. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, if this is not a couple that has been opposing you or, or going, or doing, or going uh, to war with you, okay? If this is not about a couple that decided to bring a spiritual war to you, this could indicate that um, you may have been someone that was very transformative in the lives, in the lives of your former partners, okay? Their life got better after you entered it or something like that here. 
Okay, you could be in a very abundant connection right now, honey. But the opposition is here with the devil showing up and Archangel Michael showing up. That indicates that either a couple is doing this or has, you know, opposed you. It could also represent um, a couple of people, three to five witches, warlocks that have decided to bring a war to you. Okay. Collective. We got the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands. Whew, the Nine of Wands. I'm picking up on childish ener energy. Yep. The nine, the nine of Cups. A very immature, reckless uh, female karmic, for sure. That is trying to block you from your destiny, your life mission, your life purpose. But our Heavenly Father shows up. Our Heavenly Father is the Six of Coins. Wish fulfillment will still be had. Yeah, I see you having a big old house with a big pool here. With the full energy showing up. Mm-hmm. We got judgment and a knight of cups. You see, the offers will still be coming in. The opportunities will still be had. We got the nine, the nine of pentacles. I see a very single individual watching this. That's going through a pretty hard time. Or you've went through some pretty serious days here. With the death energy showing up. This represents some sort of transition that is currently happening. Yep, yeah, that's the Ace of Swords truth. Mm-hmm. We got the Queen of Swords and the Death Energy. There's an ancestor showing up, protecting you with the Seven of Wands, bringing the tower to your enemies. Mm-hmm. You can have two enemies that could go to jail within the next two hours, two weeks, two days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see people making plans to bring harm to you with the Five of Swords. I see two karmics here. I see an emperor here. Mm -hmm. Emperor shows up into this particular message. The Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. This emperor could represent someone that is like a male karmic here. That could be juggling multiple women. Having a lot of things going on in the background, but wanting to disturb you at the same time or, or cause you to be harmed. Work this this emperor could be someone that's working in tantrum with these female karmics to bring you harm. I see the wheel of fortune showing up here. Things are gonna change. It's inevitable. Yes, we got the page of wands and justice. It's inevitable. The month of October could be significant here. You can get a call from a detective or a cop, or you can get, God can give you some information about one of your enemies here going to jail here or something else happening to them. Temperance card shows up. Sagittarius season could be significant for you. Mm hmm. We got a page of pentacles. Somebody's going to reach out with an opportunity of a lifetime with the moon here. Mm hmm. Seven of Pentacles. This is what you've been working on here. Your mother. She's crossed over. She's coming through the reading. She's coming through the reading here. The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Make no mistake about it. That's what the High Priestess is letting us know. There will be opportunities that will be had by us. But there's a certain thing, a certain opportunity here, okay? There's a certain thing certain opportunity that's going to change your life for the better and no one is going to be able to block it or fight you another day for it okay we got the musician in the five of wands somebody is working hard behind the scenes this could be you collective trying to push through and persevere through the hard days the spiritual attacks the spiritual warfare and just getting through life having to take care of yourself having to take care of your family having to still survive throughout massive attacks and throughout massive battles or just, you know, different people are going through different things, okay? But having to keep keep yourself going. Yes. Somebody's working hard in the background to make sure that they uh, stay afloat despite the obstacles. We got the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords. There's a plan that's coming together very, very strategically. Mm-hmm. We got the Five of Cups. It's going to be Tears of Joy with the Knight of Pentacles. There's going to be relocation. There's going to be opportunities here. 
I see your enemies being sad, people that doubted you, people that tried to destroy you, people that didn't believe in you, people that talked down on you, people that did not want to invest in you, people that stole from you. Yeah, they're going to be um they're going to be the one left hurt. We got the 8 of cups and the hermit. I'm hearing the hermit and the hierophant. There's a karmic male in particular that's drinking heavily, not resting and not doing well. But he's watching you with the Page of Swords, or he was. We got the Six of Swords, but God is watching him. He's in a Nine of Wands energy. So I see a male karmic and a female karmic. Karmic. I'm hearing cousins. Okay, this could be a family that's coming up against you, or that did come up against you at one point. This could be your family that uh, tried to destroy you or wanted to see some sort of harm be brought to you with the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. and the three of cups indicating some sort of uh, magic or different methods of manipulation to cause harm energetic interference to cause some sort of uh, manipulation or some sort of you know the the destructive some sort of destructive method in your life okay they wanted to end your life there's archangel michael and there's our heavenly father and there's the king of cups okay king of cups showed up in our first spread there's a certain person that our Heavenly Father has for you. I mentioned that earlier. The Two of Wands, our Heavenly Father is making plans that we cannot see. Trust the process. I know it could be difficult. You may not even be looking for love at this point. <laughs> okay. We got the Six of Wands. But that's what your enemies want. They want you to not look for it. They don't even want you to have no hope or expectation for it. But if you're looking for love and you want love, just keep persevering for it. Okay. We got the Six of Wands. There's a King of Cups that's very victorious. Okay, God has him for you. The King of Cups, he is our divine masculine. Okay, I see him in the, you know, he's been through some things. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up on an image of him, him traveling. Okay, he could be driving right now. Yeah. No driving, no drinking and driving, masculines. Divine masculines. I see a, a September here. I see a September masculine and also... Sagittarius masculine. He's an earth angel. Our Heavenly Father has exclusively pick, picked him out for you. I'm hearing the name Eric. He shows up as the emperor. He's very protective here. People have been opposing him and fighting him on some level as well. With the Ten of Swords, he went through a betrayal. This Ten of Swords in, it also indicates some sort of cycle closure here. Okay, that was brutal. Possibly a love connection that is no more. Or that's not going well. Okay. Divine Feminine. She enters um, Divine Masculine's portion of the reading here. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Pentacles. Somebody tried to use magic or other manipulative tactics to keep a relationship that you're meant to be in stalled out. Two of Pentacles trying to keep the masculine juggling and confused and throw it off. And waiting in the background mm -hmm. we got the page of swords somebody's been watching him very deceptively judgment has been called on them whoever's doing this to these masculines these divine masculines judgment has been called upon them or on them Archangel Michael is working very very hard with the eight of coins and the king of swords that's Archangel Michael He's working hard, or he worked hard to bring a situation to a complete close for your divine masculine. He's a star, okay? I feel like, okay, he's a star seed. Or your masculine could be a female. Take it how it resonates. Your masculine, your divine masculine could be a female. Okay? Star seed, light worker, earth angel. They could be in a public eye. There's a certain affinity that they have. Okay? Yeah, they're tapped in spiritually. Very, very connected to this ancestor. There she goes. Okay. This could be the matriarch, you know, his mom, his grandmama. The queen of swords and the queen of wands. That's two people that could certainly be in the background that has worked hard to destroy him or bring about some change in his life. At some point, we got the nine of cups. Yep. Yeah. He may have went back to a situation in the past or whoever this um, 
person that I'm channeling at this time, whoever this particular karmic was, decided to get together with other people to bring um, destruction and heartbreak and pain to your masculine. Very recklessly and very foolishly, very childishly. Yes. I feel like he's not in that connection today. That's my opinion. We got the chariot and the empress. Divine feminine steps into the masculine portion of the message. Okay, they're, they're like back and forth here. Divine masculine and divine feminine here. They're backing each other in this particular portion of the reading. They're both abundant. Empress, the empress is the ten of coins. Her masculine is the ten of coins. You may be saying, I don't have this money in my hand. Oh, you will. It's your energy. Okay, we got the page of wands. Hey, he may be reaching out in the next 10 days. The month of October, I spoke about it, could be significant. That's what the high priestess is saying and the moon card. Okay, that's what you don't see communication coming in with the eight of wands. But the opposition sees it. And they've been doing the opposition. They've been doing everything in their power, AKA the karmics, to get these masculines to walk away from their destinies, to walk away from their empresses, to walk away from their fortunes. Mm -hmm. But we know that's not going to happen. Causing great sadness. There was a great, um, yeah, I'm hearing turbulence that has transpired in the twin flame community, in the soulmate community. These are high, high, high level beings that God wants to be together. But you know the, you know the devil, he doesn't want to see love on the earth. He doesn't want to see love on God's green earth. He started a whole, Satan started a whole rebellion in heaven when, when, when Archangel Metatron um, went to get the materials needed, needed to, make, to make Adam. Satan went on a great rebellion. He didn't want God to create man. So Satan doesn't want these twin flames to come together. He doesn't want the soulmates to come together. He doesn't want anything good to happen. His mission, his slogan, you know, the, the enemy slogan is to kill, steal, and destroy. So there's been a great diversion here. There's been a great battle here to keep these two apart because they're meant to produce something together. There's a baby that's meant to come in, point blank, period. Period, period, period. They're meant to own businesses. They're meant to travel. They're meant to feed the homeless, the less fortunate. They're meant to build a legacy for the bloodline. They're, they, this spirit baby is meant to be the next heir. You know, there's something this spirit baby is meant to do here. I believe it's a great mission that this spirit baby has. And I believe it could be a son. Okay, take it how it resonates. But the enemy is doing everything within, you know, the enemies. They're doing everything within their power to keep these two apart because that's just the enemy's mission. <laughs> just facts. But God says, no way. Our Heavenly Father says, no way. This will come together. With the Three of Pentacles. It's been in the energies. These two, your twin flame or your soulmate, your divine masculine or your divine feminine, you may be surprised how close they actually are. You may be surprised how, how freaking close they actually are. You got the Seven of Cups and a King of Wands. Our Divine Masculines, they are close, Divine Empress. I feel like spiritually, maybe even physically. Okay. Yeah. He, your Divine Masculine, you know, he may, he may have went through a great period of uh, learning about self-control with the King of Wands showing up here, mastering that lusty side of himself, you know, or herself. You know, that show-off side of him him or herself. The King of Wands, you know, he's handsome. She's beautiful. They get, they, get up a, they get a lot of attention, you know. But he could be selfish, okay? He may have had to work on himself. Make no mistake about it. He stands out. He's beautiful. It's something about him that is commanding of attention. And you know what? He may be very popular, Divine Empress. She may be very popular, Divine Masculine. Okay, they're very divine and beautiful beings. Okay, make no mistake about it. 
I had a dream one time, collective. I was on a bus and I spoke about this, I believe last year. There's, there's a social media couple. They're very well known, I'll say. And on, in, in, in a dream, I was on the bus. And the lady, you know, the social media influencer, she gets on the bus, you know, her and her husband gets on the bus, but she speaks to me. She says, hi, queen of wands. The husband never speaks, okay? The wife, she called me the queen of wands. And as they exited the bus, she said, bye, queen of wands, okay? Yes, the queen of wands is the most beautiful queen, okay? Sexy, sassy. The king of wands, too. Yes, very powerful energy. That's that fire energy. You may have a Leo in your chart. Your divine masculine may be a Leo. Your divine feminine, she may be a Leo. You both have Leo significantly aspected here with the king of wands showing up. Also water, your divine masculine could have water in this chart. Your divine feminine as well. The page of cups. Pisces energy here. Mm-hmm. Somebody left him out of cold. Somebody left him out in the cold, or he 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 left a situation behind, with the five of coins, the two of swords, and the death energy. Period. Who hasn't ended out a relationship? Let's just talk about it. Okay. His ancestors played a critical role here in helping the masculine uh, survive things and uh, continue continue on. Period. He may have taken some sort of financial loss at some point. Who hasn't? We got the Page of Pentacles. Mm hmm. And the Ace of Wands. <laughs> and the Ace of Cups. They wanted this masculine to just settle. Okay, they wanted him to settle. These karmics, you know, they, they played every freaking trick that they could have, that you could imagine here. If they had to let this masculine live, you know what I'm saying? And, and be with a woman they certainly did not want him to be with a woman of high high value or great and you know importance or significance okay they didn't want him to get the ace of cups they wanted him to get the page of pentacles okay they wanted him to take the bare minimum in terms of his relationships and god says no he has a whole ace of cups our heavenly father has a significant partner for him that's a compatible match that's what our angel michael says Period. Mm hmm Yes. I see the Ten of Wands. He may have settled for someone like that. You know, he married a page of coins, okay? Someone that had the bare minimal. Very little to offer, okay? May look good on the outside, but there's really no, no substance or nothing of great value there. He may have spent out a lot of money trying to take care of a female, okay? Or he spent out a lot of money trying to do the right thing in a relationship or... Something like that is there. We got the lovers in the tower. Inevitably, there was a lot of fighting here. With the five of wands, the tower, and the lovers. Ah, I just see confrontations here. Arguments, strife, conflicts within a relationship that he had with someone. Divine feminine. Yeah. Mental conflict here, too. Mental anguish. Agony here. Mm. The Knight of Wands and the Strength card. Wow. It's kind of like they may have, you know, this Divine Masculine may have had some days. You know, he had some good days, but it seems like he had a lot of bad days. It's kind of like in and out energy with that connection. Okay? You never know when, when you know. I don't know. It just seems to be a lot of arguing, a lot of just incompatibility within a relationship. He may have been off and on with a particular karmic here. We got the Ace of Pentacles. It may have been all about the money for the person that he was with. The Nine of Swords. Did this karmic even care about this masculine? With the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, he went through a lot of stress. He had to provide here. The Four of Cups. It looks like the karmic party hanged out with her friends or his friends. Okay. That's what I see. Lazy with the Four of Swords. For a long time, your divine masculine was providing, taking care of, taking care of a karmic that was ungrateful, unappreciative, demanding, uh, selfish. Throws, uh, throws, throws fits of rages or something like that. Here, he may have been uh, 
Your masculine may have really got tired of that and finally left. Your masculine is a king of pentacles, ace of pentacles, ace of wands, ace of cups, okay? Yes, somebody did not want to relinquish control of the situation with your masculine, or they don't, which could still be why they're fighting him and you, possibly to this day, with the five of swords showing up and the queen of cups, yes. Uh-huh. Huh. We got the nine of coins and the justice. He left a situation, point blank period, with the justice and the four of wands. That's a divorce or a breakup or a separation or or someone leaving a home, relocating. All that is there. Wow. We have the king of cups. The masculine shows himself, our divine masculines. They are certainly the king of cups. They have been in the king of cups energy. Whew. How long? divine empress how long three days three weeks three months i rebuke dark energy the king of cups the will of fortune it seemed like time has aged aged him or he may have felt like he's aging here with the spiritual warfare it's taken a physical toll it may have taken a mental mental toll psychological toll financial toll on your masculine yeah, it may have slowed him down a little bit. The body is not moving as fast as it used to, you know. He could be an older masculine over the age of 35 here. Doesn't have to be. Your masculine could be younger than you. Take the reading how it resonates. Divine Empress, Divine Masculine. This could be your Divine Feminine. Feminine, okay. Yes, heavy spiritual warfare has taken a toll on the Divine Feminine as well. Okay, there are battle scars that are very evident in any war. Maybe they're not always evident, okay? You know how some people say you carry your pain well, but there are physical, you will see physical symptoms. There will be a, a slowing of the body. Heavy warfare will cause these things to happen. It seems like something was deliberately designed to slow our divine masculines and divine feminines down. Mm-hmm. The three of wands, yes. They want to keep this connection on ice or they want to put it on ice. It's kind of like they're trying to kill off this connection with the death card and the hermit showing up. Yep. Slowly but surely and systematically doing things to destroy the twins. But justice shows up. There will be a price to pay with the nine of wands. There's a karmic masculine and a karmic feminine. The lovers, that couple here, that will be crying when it's all said and done. The Ace of Pentacles belongs to these masculine. It belongs to the masculines, divine masculines, and the divine feminines. There's a masculine karmic and a masculine, two masculine karmics and a feminine karmic that could go to jail here. The next four days, four hours, eight hours, eight days. There's a crumbling foundation. There's a there's there's gonna be a crumbling of a foundation that was set out to hurt you. I rebuke the devil. Lord have mercy. We got the three of coins. The three of coins, yes. Three of coins and the eight of wands. I see rituals here. This three of coins is showing me that there have been rituals done, done on you. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Very deliberate acts. Okay, let's move forward here. We got the Three of Swords to break your heart, to cause injustice. You know they've been doing spells. Oh, excuse me. Our angel Michael shows up. There go that couple. He's going to finish them. Both of them. Both of them. With the Two of Coins. The Five of Swords saying, yes, they got to go. Our angel Michael has a strategic, a very strategic plan here that he is definitely in motion with. Mm. You know one of these karmics. You know one of these karmics with the Six of Cups. This could be the ex. Okay. So if this is your divine masculine, honey, this could be the ex of your divine masculine that's caused this warfare with her lover, with her new husband, or her new boyfriend, or her baby daddy, okay? She's not with the masculine no more. She's gone on to another connection. 
she's utilizing other people to bring a war to you and your masculine. Take it how it resonates. Look at our Heavenly Father. There he goes. Ace of Swords True. Wow. Our Heavenly Father is protecting a divine feminine. Make no mistake about it. And he has some plans in store for the, for the divine feminine. I see a white wedding dress. That's what the high priestess is showing me. It's rapidly approaching with the king of wands, the knight of wands. There's, there's that altar. I know I'm right on the money. With the lovers showing up here. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to marry you, divine feminine. This may happen suddenly. You know, this thing, it may have... It may take off. It may take off, okay? It may take off like a rocket, okay? God God, God allows you two to meet, okay? You build your connection together. You get married like normal people do, okay? <laughs> you can finally rest, Divine Empress, okay? <laughs> While you're, you're, you're protected. It may not feel like it. We got the Page of Swords. Divine Masculine is going to make sure his Divine Empress is safe. There's people that are going to be still hanging back in your energy or attempting to get in your energy. Cancer Aries energy here. The chariot and the fool. The page of pentacles. The king of pentacles. I just see a diamond ring, engagement ring, and judgment. He's going to marry you, divine feminine. And then a knight of cups. Yes, divine feminine. She's a, she's a high priestess, star, empress. There's a divine masculine that's working hard in the background to bring it together, divine empress. He has been. There he goes. There's a divine masculine showing up as usual in divine empress's energy. They both are in each other's energy pretty heavy tonight. He will be victorious. Your masculine has Leo in his chart. Your feminine, she, your divine feminine, she has Taurus Leo in her chart. He's a hierophant. Okay, he's a gifted spiritual specialist or he's gifted on the spiritual realm. Okay. Our Heavenly Father approves. Our Heavenly Father approves of, of, of your masculine. We got the page of wands and the seven of wands and the strength card. Our Heavenly Father is protecting this connection. Mm -hmm. With the four of wands. Two earth angels coming together. They're coming together. Water may be significant here with the page of cups. This water is giving me like you know, the spirit baby energy here. You guys giving out invitations to your baby shower here. Or your wedding. Your wedding. Woo. Your wedding. We got the six of swords. Your ancestors are with you. Your ancestors always are with you. And your masculine. Wow. We got the three of cups. Wow. The ten of swords. There's that Queen of Wands, Karmic, that's working in the background with two other people, potentially, that Archangel Michael is dealing with currently. For doing things that um, goes against the laws of God and goes against the laws of man. You have, you have Karmics that have committed uh, spiritual laws. They have broken spiritual laws and physical laws here. And Archangel Michael is not going to let him get away with it. I know it doesn't feel like it. Okay, I know you have days where you want to rage. And you may even rage. You, you, you've been through something here. Okay. The devil shows up to say, yeah, Archangel Michael has to protect you. Because you have some people. There's one female karmic in particular that wants to see a divine feminine be murdered, killed, or put down. She's jealous. She's envious. She's mad. But she's not justified in her reasons for wanting to take the life of an innocent person that I'm pretty sure she's never met a day in her life. It's not justified here. There's a female karma that just wants the divine feminine to be left out in the cold. You see that big ass house? That's the divine feminines. That's the divine masculines. She want you to be walking outside not being able to get in, but that's your house. Divine feminine. Divine masculine. That's your abundance. That's your birthright. You see all those dark clouds back there? That indicates our Heavenly Father has that for you. And somebody is trying to stop you from getting in there and having it and obtaining it. But it's yours. 
who's in that house? Your divine masculine. There he go. Okay. There go the house energy. The energies just don't lie. The energies don't lie. Okay. The energies just don't lie. So I see a couple. You know this couple here. They've been coming up all year in every tarot reading. Okay. Not only a couple, but a coven. Okay. A group of people. Mm -hmm. Karmic feminines and karmic masculines that are contracted by the devil to bring great harm to a connection that God has ordained. Because, you know, God ordained it. Satan doesn't want to see good on the earth because he never has, he never will. Remember, our angel Michael kicked Satan out of heaven. He wanted to be God. He wanted to be God. He had to go. Okay? He's currently in hell, by the way. Satan is in hell. He's locked in that motherfucker. Excuse the language. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he went to hell and, 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 and made sure he put Satan in there when he died on the cross and rose again on the third day. The high priestess said, yes, divine masculine, hold on. Divine empress, hold on. The battle was real, but so is this connection and it will come together. I feel like you have a child, man. This baby is meant to be here. This baby must be extremely powerful. This baby may become, yeah, he may become, he's coming. He could be a Leo, <laughs> okay, or she. Take it how it resonates. We got the Queen of Cups and the Six of Wands. Divine Feminine is victorious, baby. You got a man that's victorious too, honey. He gonna bring it all home to you. The devil mattered in a witch's titty about this. There's a karmic masculine here too. That's a part of a group of people here too. That's been assigned by the devil to take you down too. Mm-hmm, with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords and the Five of Swords. That's some sort of, you know, somebody trying to snake you while your back is turned, essentially. That's what the Four of Swords and the Five of Swords is saying. You're sleeping here, okay? And that's when they launch their attacks at, attacks at you. Yes, I rebuke Satan and all his workers, all his demons evil spirits okay collective we rebuke that energy price is good baby but this is their plan of attack this one way this is one this is the primary method that these karmics have been using to try to take out divine beings they're trying to take divine beings out while they're sleeping essentially with the four of swords and the five of swords they're using magic to try to unalive divine beings Primarily when they're sleeping. And then when they're not sleeping, they're doing other things to bother you. Chaos magic. It's all about this great love that God has for this empress and this emperor. They are both a part of each other's spiritual team. The empress shows up. The emperor shows up. The ancestors show up. And the ancestors are in the energies. The empress is in her masculine's energy. The masculine is in her energy. Even if you don't feel like it. Okay. And if you, you may, you may be saying, well, I don't feel like there's a masculine in my energies. I don't feel like there's a feminine in my energies. I bet you, I can guarantee you that you have ancestors that are in your energies, that are protecting you, that are, that are loving you. Even if, even if you don't hear them. Okay. Or even if you're mad, you're having a bad day, you want to lash out, you're stressed out. They still there. The ancestors are still there. Yes, there's a there's a karmic masculine that's left out in the cold. There's a there's an ancestor that's kicking a karmic masculine's ass. He constantly fluctuates from the knight of wands and to the king of wands. That's it. Sexual based lust energy. He constantly he has a sex demon or two on him. He constantly does things in the background very deceptively to destroy a divine feminine. There's a karmic female that's trying to destroy a masculine, divine masculine. And there's a karmic masculine that's trying to de destroy a divine feminine. There's a witch that's fucking with a divine masculine. There's a warlock fucking with a divine feminine. Or that happened at some point. This karmic masculine, look at the energy. The moon and the death, that's death magic. He's a fool. That's the Ace of Swords truth. These karmics, oh my goodness, they are out of control. I'm hearing that there's a female karmic that's rage raging. She's seething with rage or some shit like that. And I'm also picking up on Ray J. 
I hope Ray J is okay today. He may be your favorite entertainer. Trying to take the life of an earth angel. That, that is a, that's the mission of a karmic masculine. Karmic female as well. They, they attack you and they sit back and, and watch. They just hang in your energy. We got the Knight of Cups. There's a karmic masculine that just don't want to see a divine feminine move on with her life. Urgh. Picking up on takeoff, God rest his soul. Urgh. This karmic masculine, I guess he figured, hey, if I can't be with her, no one can. But that's not how it works. I'm pretty sure he had his opportunity to be with you, divine feminine. You may have even been with him. He can't let you go. Uh, this 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 karmic masculine is an ex or ex love interest, baby daddy, ex husband. Could have been one of your homeboys. You never knew he liked you. He could be silently in the background doing things to sabotage you, divine empress. Yeah, he want to be your lover. You see, he not your man. Okay, he not. She's not your woman, divine masculine. And they're trying to make you pay. They don't want you to move in with your husband or they don't they don't want you to get married and, and have a life with anyone else but them okay but i don't even think they want you they, these people feel like agents okay yeah you may you may have you may have had some sort of connection you may have had some sort of connection with this man at some point divine empress you may have even this may have even been your divine masculine i spoke about it reading two readings ago he may have been someone that did have a contract with you. He chose someone else. He took his cup somewhere else. But he doesn't want Divine Feminine to have a life. Okay, get the F out of here. We got the Ten of Coins. He knows Divine Feminine has a lucrative and abundant, prosperous life ahead of her. And he doesn't want her to live it. He wanted to take all her blessings. That's what the Ten of Coins and the Sun card is saying. He's behind the scenes, or he, there's a karmic masculine that has been behind the scenes, divine feminine, blocking you every step of the way from your masculine or any masculine or anybody or anything coming towards you. He wants it all to come to him or he doesn't want you to have it. Judgment has been called on him continuously for doing this to a divine empress. Divine empress, she's very single here with the nine of coins, very self-sufficient, independent, and abundant. You may be saying, once again, I don't have this money in my hand. That is your energy to be abundant. Okay, to be, a, to be abundant. Okay, I see the nine of coins and the ten of coins. That's divine feminine's energy. She's a star, star seed. She's meant to be seen. I said it, and I keep saying it, and I'm going to keep saying it. She's meant to be heard. She's meant to be seen. She's meant to be lending her energy and services as a part of her mission that God has for her here on the earth. We got the ten of ten of swords. Perhaps your divine masculine is a law enforcement officer, or he's authoritative. Okay. Divine feminine close out a cycle here with that karmic masculine. Point blank. Period. We got the four of wands. The contract, whatever contract you may have had with him, or whatever contract you may have had with a karmic feminine, is over. It's terminated. It's null and void. The four of wands and the ten of cups indicating a twin flame, high level connection that ultimately will be coming in yes there's a masculine that abandoned you okay he abandoned the mission okay he abandoned his feminine okay so he has to live with the consequences of his choice divine feminine should not have to suffer another damn day he got the queen of coins she's the queen of coins look at divine empress the queen of coins there's money coming in there's opportunities coming in i feel like a lot of this is related to the person that you're meant to be with but it doesn't necessarily have to be she has these abundant opportunities on her own as a single independent woman or divine masculine has these opportunities and this abundance on his own as a single independent man divine feminine she's she's the she's the queen of she's the queen of coins here that archangel michael protects there's her husband the king of cups wow the seven of swords he's sneaky there's some indication of communication here he may know you already he may watch you if you have a platform he may know you 
This man may come in your store. You work at Starbucks. You may not see him. He show up every day to order his coffee, Divine Feminine. It seems like there's some sort of way that he's watching you. But I'm also picking up on that karmic masculine that's trying to block you. With the Two of Swords and the Two of Coins, that karmic masculine has a way he's watching you too. Hmm. Shooting magic up at you with the Eight of Wands. Being very sneaky and deceptive in the energies with the Seven of Swords. You see? Wow, he's showing up as the King of Cups too. Very deceptive energy. Do you see that? That's why Michael is here. Anytime you see Archangel Michael, just know that it's a problem. When you see him in any spread, I don't care how many times a reader, how many spreads a reader pulls in her message or his message. Whenever you see Archangel Michael, it's a problem. You see how deceptive that karmic masculine is? Okay? Very deceptive energies. Wow. The Page of Coins and the Page of Cups. Wow, you guys are meant to produce heirs. You and your twin flame. Okay? More heirs. You may have children. You may, you may be meant to have more kids. God may bless you with some miracle babies. Divine Empress. Yes. This, could, this karmic masculine could be your baby daddy, too. He's, he's very childish. Very immature. Mm-hmm. That's why you left his ass. You got tired of dealing with a childish ass, immature ass man. Or divine masculine got tired of dealing with an immature, reckless, childish ass woman. But they still watching. There's a karmic masculine that is exhausting himself here. Let him exhaust himself. Divine feminine. Our angel Michael gonna get him out. He gonna do whatever he does to get rid of the enemies. The strength card. He's trying. There's karmic masculines and karmic feminine feminists that are trying to steal uh, inheritance. They may have already done something. This, they may have already deliberately stole, stole something from you, Divine Feminine. From you, Divine Masculine. You know, these people group up to do this. The Justice, the justice card, okay. Mm. I see a Divine Masculine that has two, two to three kids here that work hard to pay his child support or his alimony. Okay. Or, or something like that. It looks like he's a hardworking individual that wants to make sure that he provides for his kids, okay, or anyone that he loves, or anyone that our Heavenly Father has told him to go help. The Five of Wands and the Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups, he's very emotional and defensive. Your Divine Masculine could be very defensive and emotional because of a situation that's transpiring with his ex-wife or the mother of his children. He's worked hard to free himself. And even while he's working, there's issues here or there were issues. There was some sort of confusion that he felt at some point, possibly due to the spiritual warfare that the feminine karmic brought to him. And I'm speaking about your divine masculine. We got the nine of cups. Somebody wanted to bring this war, okay? The nine of cups and the tower, yeah. There was deliberate plans that were set into motion. Very deliberate, okay? Very deceptive plans. You know how you hear about premeditation? When people get convicted of a crime, you know, the judge and the attorneys, they look at premeditation. You know, that's a determining factor as, you know, God, God, our Heavenly Father, but um, the judges, they also, and the lawyers, you know, they say, okay, you pre, that was a premedi premeditated crime. You planned it out. Okay. Somebody, somebody or somebody systematically planned these attacks out. And that's what they wanted to do. Divine feminines, divine masculines. Premedit acts of malice were committed against the twin flames. The twin flames, very deliberate. The nine of swords. Once again, these people are, kar these karmics are uh, cowards. The nine of swords, the eight of swords, and the tower, they like to get you when you're sleeping. Okay, possibly send a ruthless, entity at you to take your life there's a female karmic that was very responsible for this somebody that your divine masculine had a connection with once again maybe it was his sister maybe it was his family but god comes in to restore balance as he always will something significant could happen in the next six days one hour one week They've definitely been trying to steal divine masculine's inheritance. I see four nine, four nine. 
4949. Angel number 4949. It may not feel like you're protected as you go about your mission here. Divine feminine, divine masculine. But we are. That's what 4949 is saying. That's exactly what that's saying. The Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There were some very deliberate actions taken by some very malicious, heinous individuals to bring destruction upon two people that were meant to be. Okay. Uh, let's move this thing on forward here. Get ready to close it out. We got the Five of Wands. Very deliberate action taken. Okay. The Five of Wands represents the drama that the karmic masculine brought. You see the karmic masculine, karmic feminine. This could also indicate our divine masculine, you know, pushing through the crowd saying, let me come through, let me come through. I will come through and I will present my offer. No matter what you do, I'm still gonna present my offer, okay? I'm still gonna have my wish fulfillment. I'm still gonna get to celebrate at my wedding with my divine feminine. And Archangel Michael is gonna see me through Archangel Michael is the King of Swords and the Strength card. You're not going to be Archangel Michael. He's watching over your house tonight, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I know it may not feel like it, and you, you want to rage. You're in the flesh. You're in the body, honey. We got the Page of Wands. Archangel Michael is communicating with us, and our Heavenly Father is too. Our Heavenly Father and our Angel Michael and our Divine Ancestors see that we've been devastated by the spiritual war. Okay, and other in other areas of our life too. Divine masculine left a karmic. Divine feminine left a masculine karmic. Simple. They move forward here. They call judgment on a situation and move forward. And they move forward very victoriously. These karmic there are some karmics. He's coming. Divine masculine is coming. There are some karmics. These karmic masculines, they left you for dead. Okay? These these masculines that god had chosen to be our divine masculines divine feminines they left us for dead okay they chose to go the other way they even work with their 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 current spouses to attack us and to hurt us okay yet and still divine feminine she's in the six of wands energy divine masculine he's in a six of wands energy divine masculine could be at taco bell he could be at the drive through right now Yes, we got the, he could be taking, getting takeout here. He could be a Gemini or a Virgo, or he has these placements in his chart. Or a Leo, Leo pretty heavy here. Virgo season is, by the time you watch this video, it'll be Virgo season. Yeah, I believe it starts uh, Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023, Virgo season. Happy early birthday, Virgos. Yes, you could live in Florida here. Nebraska here, Georgia, the Ten of Coins indicating that Divine Masculine is going to get his wish fulfillment. I mean, it's just facts. Divine Masculine is cranky as fuck because he's coming through my energy. Okay, he's cranky, he's aggravated, he needs rest, and he needs some loving. He needs some loving, baby. With the moon energy showing up, he could be a cancer man here, Divine Feminine. The moon and, and the chariot, that's a zodiac sign. That is a, And the king of cups. The chariot, the king of cups, and the moon, he's a cancer man, okay? Or he has cancer pre predominantly aspected in his chart. Pisces, too. Scorpio, too. He has water in his chart. Dang. I feel like this masculine is watching you. He's the king of cups tonight. He's the king of wands pretty heavy tonight. You know, he embodies all the kings. He's passionate, yet emotional. Tough, but yet soft. Okay? He could be, especially with the moon energy showing up, he could be cranky and moody. Okay? We got the four of swords. I told you he need to rest. He may be dreaming about you tonight, Divine Feminine, or he may have recently been thinking about you as he fell asleep. I feel like he know you, or he know of you, I, or he's just praying for his significant other, or he's prayed for a significant other. He knows you. He know you. He know who you are. That's my final opinion. Okay, he know the energy. Or he just, okay, I just feel like he's prayed for a significant other. Divine feminine as well, okay? So essentially, he does know you. God is bringing it together. 
You both have prayed for each other, essentially. Okay, this man is holding on to what he wants. He wants long-term commitment and fidelity in a serious, committed relationship. Period. And he's going to get it. Period. There's a six of swords. <laughs> His spiritual team has blocked a lot of stuff out here with the two of swords. Mm-hmm. There were a bit... There had, <laughs> Daryl. There have been offers that uh, a female karmic made to entities, deities that were rejected by our Heavenly Father here and the, and the divine ancestors. Period. Somebody your divine masculine knew betrayed him and left him out in the cold. This could have been his best friend, a relative, an ex-partner, or a combination of all three or four. Maybe five people betrayed him here. Maybe five people betrayed him. We got the star energy again here. The star here, the star, the star card in the seven of coins indicating he's been known here, okay? Or he's been made investments uh, towards a better future. You know, he done the groundwork. Yes, he went through the transformative stage or he goes through transformative stages. So this man has grown up or he's, he's, he's matured, okay? He's had an awakening here. He got Scorpio in his chart. Or she, Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine has Scorpio in her chart. She's undergoing massive transformations. She got tougher. Divine Masculine got more intense. He was already intense. With the King of the King of Wands showing up. Oh yeah, that's pretty fire energy is pretty intense. Okay. But that intensity seems to be settled within his bones now because of the warfare that he went through. We got the two of wands. This man is going to reach out to you, period. He may call you at work, divine empress. He may show up while you're working or something like that. He may call your name out on social media or on the radio. He may be trying to find you, too. With the eight of wands and the three of pentacles, that indicates um, he has some sort of way to watch you. He's definitely going to let you know that he wants a partnership. Our angel Michael is making sure he stays safe at work, period. They could be throwing up magic while he's working, you know, or doing different things to cause him to be stressed out. And it's affected his work. Yes, we got the devil and the two of coins and the queen of swords. <laughs> Divine masculine's ancestor right here, this mother right here, this grandmother, that matriarch that proudly protects her divine masculine. It's giving a wrath right back to these karmics. Mm-hmm. We got the Ten of Wands. They place a lot of burdens upon the backs of Divine Masculines and Divine Feminists. We got the Lovers. There they go, that couple. They're in hot water tonight. Mm-hmm. There's a Karmic Feminine that's a Leo. She has Leo in her chart. Karmic Masculine could be a Pisces. He has Pisces in his chart. Yep. They have water and fire in their charts, these Karmics. Air in their charts as well. Mm-hmm. The Page of Cups. Hmm. Divine Feminine, make no mistake about it. God wanted you to uh, walk away from certain people because they were not of your highest good. I know these people don't want to leave you alone. I know they won't get out of your energy. I know they won't stop bothering you. I know they won't stop sending things to hurt you, monitoring spirits to watch you. Whew. I feel like by the month of October, there are going to be significant changes, okay, that are going to be beneficial for us, period. That's the Ace of Swords truth. We got Pisces man energy with the hangman. I see your masculine getting on bended knee and asking you to marry him at some point, Divine Feminine. Look at this. Your masculine, he's in a King of Wands, Ace of Coins energy. Business opportunities coming in here. Look, he's worked hard for it. With the eight of coins. Our heavenly, he's getting his, uh, okay, I'm hearing in bulk. There's an inheritance that's coming in for divine masculine, for divine feminine. They worked hard for this. Our heavenly father has it. Make no mistake about it. There's nowhere these karmics could go in the spiritual realm to get it. And no one knows the time, the place, or when our Heavenly Father will release it. 
Yeah, the Nine of Cups indicating our Heavenly Father preparing a feast in the presence of our enemies. It seems like Divine Masculine is going to be presented with some sort of opportunity here uh, to become more abundant. Or I definitely see him making a, um, a purchase of a house. I've been picking up on that energy. Mm hmm I told you. Divine Masculine, he's the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Uh -huh. I rebuke dark energies. He's the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. He may not know it, though. Divine Feminine may not know it either. All the stress. Do you see? All the obstacles, all the challenges that these earth angels had to go through. You know? It's sad. All the obstacles, all the delays, all the challenges, all the controversies, all the deities, all the entities, all the rituals, all the spells, all the setbacks, all the trauma, all the pain that they had to experience. Wow. The Nine of Coins and the Hierophant. Like Divine Masculine, do you not know how great you are? <laughs> Divine Feminine. I feel like they're humble. Divine Masculine is cranky as fuck today. He's tired. He's overworked. Or he feels overwhelmed. Or he has at some point. At some point. He's very defensive with the Seven of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Coins. He's protecting himself. He may be hypersensitive and, you know, very, very over, over, overly sensitive now. Wow. We got the Two of Cups. He refusing to go back to anything or anyone that calls. You know, this man growed up. You know, he's not going to go back to no one that calls him to, to feel the way he's felt in previous connections. He's just not going to do it. He's watching his back. He's turning his back and he's persevering forward. He's in a masculine emperor energy. Make no mistake about it. He's strategic. He's a boss. Mm -hmm. He strategically ended out a connection or he's just strategic at this time. Or he's, that's part of, that's part of his developmental plan, okay? That's part of the spiritual warfare pa uh, package, okay? There are certain traits and qualities that you naturally end up developing after going through such controversy or adversities period divine masculine divine feminine the door to romance and personal healing is open it's open divine masculine is going to take care of you he had he has a strategy here period he don't give a fuck who he who it hurts this man is a grown-ass man divine feminine is a grown-ass woman she is allowed to make her decisions they're contracted to be together period our angel michael and Archangel Metatron are the angels that are watching over your connection tonight. And they're protecting you. We got indecision. I see some hesitation on the Divine Masculine's part about uh, love and romance at this time. And the Divine Feminine. Okay, they need healing here. Does not mean he doesn't want commitment and long-term stability. He's been hurt. It would only be normal for him to have some reservations about anybody moving forward anybody that he gets close to it's just normal to have these type type of energies after you've been hurt wow divine masculine has manifested a love of a lifetime divine feminine has too i feel like they would always they were they was going to always have that that connection this connection divine masculine and the divine feminine they were always going to have this connection god god is bringing you an earth angel baby divine feminine He's bringing you an earth angel. And there are a slew of karmics that are mad about it. They have decided to they have decided to take it upon themselves to bring great bodily harm out of pure jealousy and envy. Divine masculine is on his journey. It's something about his money here. We got the daughter spirit. They're trying to take it. They're trying to take his inheritance and his fortune, his abundance, his destiny. They're trying to siphon his energy. You know, they've done all that. They, they've done all that. They may have even stolen. They may have already stolen an inheritance or a contract that the divine masculine had or divine feminine had. Okay. Whatever they got, they got. But God is going to replenish and restore us tenfold at some point. Period. Divine masculine seems to be somebody that's gifted in the spiritual realm as well. High ranking. 
he's a powerful uh, manifester. There's something like that going on. We got the cornucopia indicating divine masculine's abundance here in the world. Here in the world. There's our angel Raphael. Divine masculine needs healing, baby. Period. There seems to be something happening with his finances that are going to be, that is good, it's good, it's good. It's, it's, it's all good. There's Uriel. Thank you, our angel Uriel. She says, pay attention, divine masculine. But I'm pretty sure he knows that there's a war going on and that people have been trying to steal and destroy him. He's aware. He's aware. Divine Masculine is a healer. Okay? Divine Feminine is a healer. Our angel Chamiel watches vehemently over these twin flames. He is the angel that protects the twin flames. Our angel Chamiel also heals us. He heals us emotionally, Divine Empress. He's with the Divine Empress tonight. Divine Empress, our angel Chamiel is all tied up. Making sure you stay safe. He's with you as you heal through the emotional trauma that was caused by anyone that ever caused it. Okay? We got appreciation. Our angel Chamiel wants Divine Feminine to know that she's appreciated. Okay? You are appreciated. And that there's a legion of angels that are happy that you are doing your mission, Divine Feminine. She's on her journey. Our Heavenly Father is supporting her as well. Yes, she's a twin flame period. Wow. All right. Our Heavenly Father is giving the hostilities back to the enemy. There's a female karmic. There's a masculine karmic. There's a group of karmics that have unhealthy attachments to these, to these people, period. You're not going to defeat God. God will get the victory here. He's bringing balance to his masculine. Divine masculine. He's definitely been struggling with some anxiety here. He's been thinking pretty heavy. Yes, with the high priest's it's about his finances. He was robbed, okay? At some point, there was something that was taken from him. At some point. He knows that some, somebody is patiently in the background being very deceitful, trying to steal from him or stealing from him. Somebody that he had a kid with or he was married to or there was some sort of connection. It may not even be somebody he even knows. It may be somebody that's uh, been paid to do this to him. But with the envy card showing up, I feel like it's somebody he know. Okay, somebody he walked away from. It could be a group of these people that this particular person has de decided to join up with to bring harm to a divine masculine here. There's Archangel Michael. What more do I have to say? He's like, and right, look, storm warning and Archangel Michael, and what more do I have to say? There's nothing left to say. Michael is bringing brute force. He's bringing brute force to your enemies, period. That karmic masculine, that karmic feminine, that group of karmics that have targeted you for annihilation will be annihilated. Okay? That's just what I see here. I rebuke the devil. I rebuke demonic energies, entities, deities. I have to continuously rebuke it. It's, um, it's, it's unnatural. It's just not natural how I've been attacked. Let me know what kind of attacks you have been through. Divine Empress, Divine Emperor. There's money coming in, 36 days, period. You could be turning 41 this year, you already turned 41. You could be turning 46 years old this year, or you've already turned 46 years old. Your birthday could be in September, you could be turning 50 years old. Divine Empress, Divine Emperor, money is coming in. There's changes happening with our money tonight. Divine Masculine in particular. Divine Feminine, you could be in your masculine energy. Our Heavenly Father is protecting us as we go about our missions here. There's changes related to money, but that's coming to a close. We're manifesting abundance. Our inheritance will be released at some point. I'm never going to even say, even if God told me when, I would never put that information out. You could live in North Carolina. Yes. There are some things that, uh, there are some cycles, cycles that are closing up, wrapping up. We're in that, or we were, some divine feminine, some divine masculines. They are in the Nine of Wands energy, the Wounded Warrior energy, and some have been through that energy. I've been channeling a 43-year-old. You know, the Wounded Warrior is somebody that just needs to persevere because 
They're almost at the end of a tough cycle. That's what the number nine says. Hang in there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You may be tired of hearing it. Something significant could happen. Uh, Libra season could be significant here. Yep. There's some cycles that are closing out. Or that have, or that will be closing out in the next 16 days, perhaps, or less. Yeah. Chicago, Illinois could be significant for you. You could be 20. I always channel a 27, 28 year old, 27 year old, 26, 27, 28 year old. It never fails. These could be your sons. These could be you, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine could be younger than his Divine Empress. This could be your nephews, your cousins, your sons. <laughs> Ooh. Halloween could be significant here. Mm. There are some changes that are currently going on, but that shit won't be bothering us much longer. Or at some point, it, it, you know, inevitably things change. Life changes. Time, 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 move, time moves us along in life. I see one, 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 one. Our, our ancestors are right here with us. Currently. Money is coming in. Manifestations are arriving. Abundance and inheritance are on the way. I keep seeing Chicago here. Yeah, I see a Sagittarius. You may love Thanksgiving. So, uh, Thanksgiving, I'm hearing the name Shanita, 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 Shanita. Thanksgiving may be your favorite holiday. One, one, four, one. You're part of the 144,000. You're a twin flame. God chose you. I'm picking up on a masculine that's in the army. He could potentially be, he could be, he could be, he could be 28 years old. This could be your son, your brother, your, your daddy, when he was in the army. I definitely see a December Sagittarius born on 12, 12. That's a beautiful number. <laughs> 12, 12, 12, 16 Sagittarius. I see Capricorn energy as well. Capricorn women are beautiful, baby. Very exotic, very erotic. They are very authoritative, or they can be. Wow. You may be 37 years old here, 38. I've been channeling the 37 year old as well. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, yes. There are cycles that have closed out or that will be closing out. I have Gemini energy, 611. That could be significant for you. Mm. 1304, our Heavenly Father certainly met. There's a masculine that is being protected and uh, cared for by our Heavenly Father. Watermelon may be your favorite fruit. Yeah, I see Pisces energy, but I also see Aries energy here. 326, 325, that's Aries energy. Yeah, you may like basketball. I see 1333, three, three. our Heavenly Father is helping us manifest. He knows that we're going to go through whatever human emotions we go through. He's going to get us through it. He, I mean, he got us through that last time. He's going to get us through this. Your masculine may cook. He may be a chef. I see a, a, a chef. I see a chef. 1358. 1358. There's changes happening to a masculine's money. I feel like he will be released. Something is, he could be getting out of jail. There's some money getting rele being released to a masculine here, for sure. Or there are certain opportunities that are being bestowed upon him, or that will be. You know, as tarot readers, we can never really give you exact dates. We shouldn't. God doesn't call us to do that unless he calls you to do that. But in this, in these type of situations where you have karmics heavily interfering with the readings in, in, in the lives of divine beings, you should never release certain things, certain information. You know, high priests, high priests, they don't tell everything they know. They don't release it unless God says release it. 
I see 144. There's a chosen person watching this message. Period. 1956 could be significant. There's a masculine energy that has and will continue to get messages from our Heavenly Father. Okay? Divine Feminine, you're getting messages directly into your dream state. In other ways, our Heavenly Father is getting messages. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's something about building up your portfolio. That could be significant here. Yes, we got bless. Building up your portfolio. It's like our Heavenly Father is going to send this masculine in to assist you or this feminine. Now, this could be a work-related situation in which you are, uh, uh, you know, given more abundance. Or this could be you inheriting, inherit, in, getting some sort of inheritance from the passing of a loved one, but this also indicates some sort of wealth that you're meant to have with your masculine. I just feel like you're gonna get some sort of opportunity that's gonna make you very, very happy. You could win a lottery, Divine Feminine, or you could get some lucrative opportunities that could happen for you pretty soon here. I see a January the 16th Capricorn here. There are some past life uh, gifts, skills, and talents that you brought over here with you. Gemini energy. 611, 615, 616, for sure. There's going to be some opportunities that will come through. I see you buying a new house, new car, new property, new, just, we're in a new life energy. Okay, there's that house. <laughs> God wants to get us away from the conflict, okay? Yes, or he wants us to be at peace, or a little bit of both here. He's watching us, our Heavenly Father. There's, we got exchange of gifts. You have a soulmate here that's, you and this person, there's something significant here. You and this person may uh, definitely move away. You know how that goes. Mm -hmm. Serendipity is saying that you have a connection that's just simply meant to be. Mm -hmm. There's some changes that is currently happening within that connection. Period, period, period. You may like oranges. Oranges. Uh-huh. I see a masculine and I see a feminine that's going to change each other's life. Yep. Cancer energy. 718. 716. Divine feminine been going through something for a long time. Divine masculine been in his head about something for a long time. You both are in each other's energies. Or God is going to bring... You both are in these... You both are in each other's energies, and our Heavenly Father is going to bring this thing together in divine timing, period. I definitely see that house being built from the ground up. I see business opportunities for both of these individuals. Dang. I feel like somebody's going to reach out to a divine feminine with an opportunity to be on TV or to um, do an interview. Lucrative opportunities that's fated to happen for her. Let's just talk about it, period. Period. I'm hearing Sally. Sally Field. Did, did she have... Sally Field is an American actress, but I'm picking up on Sally. Sally Jesse Raphael. You may know who she is. She had a TV show. She had a daytime talk show in the 90s. Okay. Maybe you're going to get invited to be on a Good Morning America show or a TV show. Divine Feminine. Our Heavenly Father got some things in store for us. We got to stay open and stay flexible. There are some things that are not for us, and there are some things that are simply for us, and we're going to get them, no matter how much the opposition tries to fight us. God said it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If you guys want to book me, I'm available. 